Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of the ABM course. Today, I'm going to explain appraising the evidence, uh, namely bias, effect size, and research metrics. Uh, these are the three subtopics of today's lesson. As usual, a reminder question. What purpose, for what purpose do we use the agree to instrument in EBM? Last session, we discussed the agree instrument. And you should remember what is the use of the agree instrument, how it looks like, how many uh, domains it has or questions and how is it scored, etc. I will not give the answer here. So please refer to the previous presentation. Then last time we discussed guidelines and I mentioned especially one guideline, the name of one guideline, but I believe also other guidelines mentioned here are important. But which one was related to hypertension? Okay, that was also from the previous session. Then in the previous session, we discussed uh, guidelines regarding diabetes management. And uh, there we hear the term HOMA, HOMA IR. And you should also be aware of that because HOMA is uh, for clinicians it is a very important measure. Uh, I suggest you to also go and look how it is calculated and what are the reference standards. So coming to today, today my objectives are related to, as I said at the beginning, the bias types of bias, not all types of bias, but at least five, six, seven types of bias you should be able to differentiate and explain. Then p-values, what they are and how they are interpreted. Confidence interval we will discuss today and effect sizes. And my last slides are about uh, the age index, uh, I10 index, impact factor. Uh, we will conclude with discussing these research metrics. Okay. Stop recording. 